All right, good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, March 9th at 7.58 a.m. I'm going to do a free video watch this today. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, I do a free video watch this every single Monday for uh, the viewers on YouTube. And then every single day or every other day, I do it for the members in MIC. So a couple of house cleaning things is that if you are brand new to trading or you have any questions about trading or questions about MIC, you could text Tosh who is going to be literally on the other side of the phone. It's not going to be a robot. It's not going to be a telemarketer or anything like that. Uh, so his number is 213-458-5997. So text him right now if you have any questions. Um, one sec. I'm just trying to get some locates right now. All right. So a couple things I want to talk about is the overall market's tanking. <laughs> Uh, the SPY went from, you know, 340 to 278, which is absolutely insane. Uh, broke through support here at 281, which is even crazier. And the next support here is in the 270s. So uh, it'll be very interesting to see what the S&P does. I don't really give a shit about it, but uh, usually what happens is people uh, like to, um, they like to, sometimes trade large cap stocks when the small caps are kind of slow and when the spy or the dow is down 1200 points pre-market everyone starts looking for a bounce play and usually that kind of pushes these things lower so for me personally i've lost a lot of money trying to bounce the market i've lost a lot of money trying to uh attack these days on the crazy volatility you're going to see some crazy people trading vix and tvix today and Although they might have good days or not, those are extremely, extremely risky. So this is just a word of caution to stay in your lane. Don't go into large caps today out of all days just because the volatility is there. And for me personally, I've seen that uh, the way that I make the most amount of money on days like this is just not fucking trading. It's just avoiding the losing days like this and just sticking to what works for me. So that's just my general advice on the market today. I think you should avoid it. When the market does bounce, there's going to be plenty of opportunity to get in but there's no sense of trying to get in early right now. So APT, I see two possible trades on this. Um, I'm gonna first draw my lines, 15 bucks, 15, 25, 15, um, 15, 50. So in the morning I have two possible trades, either a push towards these resistance levels to short 30% size, 10%, 10%, 10%, <clears throat> or wait for it to go red and short it when it goes red. COCP, another uh, coronavirus stock, looking for this towards two dollars. That's kind of the whole number mark, um, and two twenty as well. So hopefully we get a push towards these levels uh, to short, ideally. But if it just pushes towards one ninety and finds its way down, I'll slowly start to add to my winner. I know this has been an avoid for us for a week. We have not gotten caught short on this at all. While other people got smoked on the short side, we've just been avoiding it. For me personally, I am waiting for the first red day setup on this, so I will short if it goes to 14, but I doubt it's gonna do that. Still think it needs to push out a little bit, don't wanna get involved. And then VC, uh, looking for a morning push towards this resistance level here. Ideally, we get a push towards 12 and 12.50 in the morning to short, or if it goes red, to take a small piece red for it to go triple lower. Specs, uh, just watching this, this is a former runner. Uh, this likes to push and tank, so it's a daily chart that I really like. I mean, in a perfect world, we're gonna push towards 320, 330s, and 340s, but kind of looks weak, so we might have to just settle for 310s. Again, looking for this to pop, and then tank, and then looking to short the bounce after it tanks. Uh, kind of want to see how it reacts pre-market first before I kind of create a real plan for it. And new one is AIM. This is pretty kind of clear lines over here, 390s, $4, potential death line under three bucks. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Um, so what I do at the end of these videos is I provide a secret word. Uh, so what I want you to do is I want you to reply to the thread or reply to the video with this secret word. And that means that you watch the video till the very end. Today's secret word is going to be iPhone. So. Thanks, guys, and remember to stay in your lane today. Uh, I am going to accept that there might be no trades for me today. And oftentimes, again, like I said, taking a day with no trades yields to me making more money the next day because the trends have set up, because I'm more comfortable. And yeah, so good luck today, guys. I will see you in the room.